It's a campus over 100 years old and has a rich, <laughs> spooky history. The Albion Normal School once served as a college for thousands of aspiring teachers. It now sits abandoned, but some say it really isn't vacant. On your side's Chris Oswald traveled to Albion to investigate. I went into this a little skeptical, not expecting much to happen. I left feeling violated and with a whole different perspective on paranormal activity. Okay, that was go. creepy. Deep inside what was once the women's dorm at Albion Normal School lives a legend that's just creepy. <laughs> Actually, I am probably your number one skeptic for that kind of a thing, but I had, I've had some really interesting experiences here. I have heard voices and we've seen lights in the buildings. For years, paranormal investigators have spent countless hours ghost hunting on campus. Is there anybody here with us right now that would like to step forward and just say hello? I have heard voices in the girls' dorm. I've heard knocking, I've heard footsteps, doors creaking when there was no one in the room. It never fails. Every time something, sometimes unexplained things occur. We start our hunt in the auditorium where... Was that you that touched Chris? During our quest for ghosts, an unexplained feeling, almost like the sensation of a hand on my back. Okay, did you feel something? Well, I thought I had hit her. So like, when I bumped into you earlier, mm -hmm. that's what I felt like I just did with you. It doesn't stop there. From the moment we got to campus, weird things were happening. Just take our interview with the owner, Heather Mortensen. And bats live in this building. <laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> Those are bats. That, is so that sounds like a bat. It's so creepy that you say bats. <laughs> and then it goes... <laughs> oh, creepy. Oh. But the investigators from the Idaho Paranormal Reporting Group say there's probably a very good explanation. Coincidence, and I think you all walked into the building and started talking, and you woke them up and scared them. You happen to say bats, there happen to be bats in there. You disturb the bats, and the bats flew away. Yep, right. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe that was a coincidence. But explain this moment in the women's dorm. I heard walking down this way. Just gave me, footsteps. Gave me the chills. Is that the hallway? Somewhere over here. The whole time we were inside the dorms, the sound of footsteps. Are you behind me, Chris? Yeah, I'm behind you. Because I'm kind of scared right now. <laughs> Each time, investigators quickly got to work snapping pictures using special equipment to check the air temperature, recording possible audio EVPs, and measuring EMF. Yep, yep, yep. that's it. Oh my gosh, I feel that. Do you feel it? Okay. Yeah. And that's the, the real deal. And the temperature is changing. They'd get an occasional reading here and there, but it wasn't until we moved to the dorm basement when things got interesting. <laughs> right here. And again, the same feeling on my back. Investigators had me talk to the ghost, hoping to get a response. Are you a fun person? It wasn't too chatty, so one of the investigators took over the questioning, and he got quite the response. <laughs> you want me to build you a snowman? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. <laughs> Big time, The EMF reading went off like crazy for several minutes. Oh, that's oh, red. Yeah. Okay, let's see what I got. If the responses we got were really ghosts, they seem pretty friendly. I think that a majority of what does occur here at Albion campus is probably residual based on what we've experienced here. And giving skeptics like owner Heather a reason to believe she's not the only one staying on campus. As I was walking up the stairs, um, two customers were walking down the stairs and I heard a voice upstairs scaring them, kind of in a creepy little kid voice. And the people leaving were saying, that was the best scare ever. And they were walking out and I was prepared to go upstairs and congratulate this employee for telling them what a good job they were doing and you know, done for the night, good job. And there was no one up there. I had my flashlight, I searched the whole upstairs, could not find anybody. The Albion Normal School is a major tourist destination. Retreats and family reunions are held there year round. And during the month of October, it's converted into a spooky haunted house. If you'd like more information on it, head over to IdahoOnYourSide.com for more information. In the studio, Chris Oswald, Idaho On Your Side. Oh, there's something strange. <laughs> Who are you going to call? Yeah. What do you think? Call Ghostbusters. Call Ghostbusters. Wouldn't go there for Halloween.